Hello, I'm Allison Samwitz in the WFT Newsroom. For Thursday, January 28th, here's your news in 90. Three more protesters occupying an Oregon wildlife refuge have been taken into police custody. The three turned themselves in at a checkpoint outside the refuge. The armed anti-government occupation began earlier this month to protest federal land restrictions. One protester was killed earlier this week. Eleven protesters have been arrested in total and face federal charges of conspiracy. The United States is asking for NATO's help to fight ISIS in the Middle East. The U.S. has requested that the alliance provide surveillance planes called the Airborne Warning and Control System. NATO is not directly involved in combating ISIS militants in Syria and Iraq, although the U.S. leads a coalition of nations that include all 28 NATO allies. NATO defense ministers are expected to discuss the request at their meeting in early February. Kansas health officials are investigating an outbreak of neurovirus at a movie theater. More than 100 people may have become ill after visiting the theater. The neurovirus is spread through eating contaminated food and water. Symptoms include diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, and stomach pain. Most people recover within one to three days. The National Weather Service confirmed it was an EF1 tornado that touched down in Broward County yesterday. Meteorologists say that a storm was about 100 feet wide and touched down multiple times. Only one injury was reported as a result of the storm. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.